Hey, welcome everyone to an unboxing of the Sony WHCH710N wireless noise canceling headphones with uh, an advertised battery life of 35 hours. So um, looking at the box is relatively simple. It's your traditional Sony box with some quick, simple features listed at the back. Um, the ones they kind of want to promote in your face type of thing. And uh, yeah, the, the name is quite of a mouthful. I, I still don't understand how Sony making such incredible equipment can have such terrible naming convention, at least for their headphone division. You know, you would think something like the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, super easy to remember, but headphones and, and some of their um, home theater equipment is just horrible, but I, I guess I'm getting off topic. So continue with the unboxing. I, I've noticed that I've had this kind of pain in the butt with taking products out of their box because I'm, I'm not the type to rip and open a box and damage it. I'm just kind of odd like that, I guess, if you will. And um, I had this similar type of challenge when trying to take the uh, 510 out of the box, which is relatively cheap it's about um, 99 dollars here in canada almost 100 bucks basically um depending on which vendor you get it from of course and yeah even even then the yeah, the box is just as annoying to open so you can see i'm struggling here just to get this out and it's it's not like there's a ton of padding on top of that so you would think that if they're super expensive like the xm5s incredible headphones i'll put a link to that review in the video description you should definitely check it out um, those, I understand they're, they're packaged in a hard traveling case in the box, but it's like making the box more annoying to open doesn't protect the product that much more. You, you, you know, if you kind of understand where I'm coming from, but anyway, going on a rant as you guys watch me struggle, um, better than an awkward silence, I guess. Uh, actually, I'm not sure we prefer awkward silence or me complaining <laughs> to use their own. I could just, um, anyway, so continue on with, so some of the stickers that are kind of the interior of the ear cups were removed. Um, that I can kind of get to prevent any like I guess aggressive squishing that might happen in, in transportation to prevent any um, damage to the interior of plastic. Anyway, continuing on. So there's not much in terms of accessories. You'll notice again no hard traveler's case. It's pretty evident. You just kind of get the headphones as is. And I'll switch over to the accessories and documentation. <clears throat> so here we have uh, some multiple documentation. Okay. So this looks to be some sort of like informational guide. There is some information about control buttons and whatnot on this piece of paper. You kind of know where this is going because now you have like what's well, to be, you know, traditional um, Sony documentation of like a quick start guide. <laughs> okay, so why, why do they have information in two different places? I have no idea. But this is the document you really want to refer to when you're pairing it for the first time if you're not too familiar with how Bluetooth connecting works. The other document is just safety and warranty information. USB charging cables, USB A to USB C, and a headphone auxiliary cable, which looks to be your typical 3.5 millimeter on each end. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing. So if you want to see the review, be sure to check out the uh, link to the review in the video description. And that's pretty much a wrap. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, check out my website also in the video description, as well as my social media links. And thanks for watching.